morning everybody, how's it going? My name is Tamriel. Welcome to Skyrim, the new adventures of Tamriel, the young Aragonian. We are currently freezing, we should probably get up and get near the fire, pack up, and it's currently 11.26 p.m. Are we up encumbered or something? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, caps lock. Oh, there we go, now we can run. Uh, let's see. Let's see, so we actually need caps lock on so we can run. Can we not do that? Maybe? That'd be nice. Anyway, uh, hi there guys, how's it going? Um, welcome to the Mentors. Hello Evie, how are you doing? You doing good? Fantastic! So, uh, you guys, a lot of you have been saying, a lot of you, especially in the past videos, saying that you missed the journal. You really missed the journal. Like, you really do. Genuinely miss the journal. And you know what, to be honest, I miss it too. I miss having the journal as well. So, what I did, is added a journal to the game. Yes. I added a journal to the game. Delete this entry. Good. Alright. So, we got this journal over here. The journal we'll consider with Beast Theory for Beast, Quests, any notes we need to take for Quests, Personal Journal, Miscellaneous, and just in general Journal. Journal will have everything that we need. I believe Beast Theory doesn't. I mean, we have we can pretty much write down whatever we want. Let's say we want to write down some kind of information about a beast that we're hunting down or a specific quest we're doing. We can now do it. And yes, Journal is finally back. And... We even got our first entry. I was able to salvage a journal from Spellsword Cave. It had a few pages torn out, but still seems to be in a good condition. I'll need to replace the cover on it next time I'm near a town or leather worker. I'll see if I can give it a new leather cover. Should keep it protected when I'm out traveling. Maybe keeping track of my adventures will be easier out here in the wilderness. I might need to stock up on some ink. Running low on ink, might need to get somewhere, some in a near b And we ran out of ink. Uh, this is to kind of give the immersion back to the game and add actually add more immersion to have this journal that we can keep track of for the character and each journal that each character is going to start with their own journal it's character specific and yeah there might be ways of importing one journal to another character's game possibly I'm still trying to figure that out in case we want to continue to turn it to story for the future not, not obviously anytime soon but for the future hello Evie how's it going let's jump over you but for now that we have a journal and that is good because now we can a use it to recap what happened last couple of episodes and b use a journal every now and then write down important information that's going to be important for us anyway let's go ahead and pack up over here let's pack all this stuff up and uh make sure what do you have i'm pretty sure we looted this person already we got nothing absolutely nothing actually how much can i carry i could probably get some of the stuff and sell it uh let's take a steel mace that's going to sell for a lot uh, let's see, value, the chest will sell for a lot, but it's too heavy for us to carry. Uh, the cloak, that's pretty light, it will sell for a decent amount. And I think that's for now pretty good. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Alright, where are we heading over to? We have to head over to this way to destroy a vampire, Vidgar. And then eventually we'll return back to Runel's journal. Oh, we'll turn Runel's journal back to Runel. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue with adventures, though. I believe, let me just make sure I know where I'm going first. Let's go ahead and mark this place as a location so we know where to go on a map. Okay, this will do. Alrighty, we, we're gonna go ahead and head out. This is the time for us to continue adventuring. And we'll, I believe we'll do fine for now with uh, where we're at, like, at our state. We're pretty warm, pretty comfortable. I th I'm pretty sure we are. Let's go ahead and have some cheese and water. Because we are a little hungry and a little thirsty. This will help us deal with the hunger and the thirst. So that we are set and ready to fight wherever comes our way. And let me make sure I have all my equipment. Ellen Bow for now. Ellen Bow will do actually. Ellen Bow will do nicely. So, uh, I've accumulated enough money to buy a, new, uh, buy a house and buy a new horse. And I'm thinking... Uh, Tamriel's getting around the age where he could probably be a homeowner. I would say he's about 16, 17. Uh, but with the amount of time that passes in Skyrim and the amount of fast traveling we do, waiting we do, sleeping we do, time really flies by. So uh, we're getting around the point where Tamriel is going to become like a full-grown adult. And when that happens, I'm also going to add like a, a physique mod that can change his physique depending on what he's more capable of doing. Like let's say we decide to take a direction and make him more of a rogue character out of nowhere, then... We can, he, he can probably be a little more slender, have a little longer limbs, and be more agile looking. Or if we decide to make him beefcake, we can just make him a huge Godzilla, if uh, that's the course of action we want to take. 
Somebody's over there whispering. What is that? That's just an Imperial soldier. Hey, let's go high. Hi there, soldier. How's it going? It's been so long since I killed a Stormcloak. My sword arm's getting flabby. Oh, well, that's, uh, that kind of sucks. What are they doing over there? Are they carrying a the prisoner? Oh, no, they're just, uh... Imperial armor is damn heavy. Oh, quit your belly aching. Oh, they're just a bunch of soldiers just hanging out. Hi. Stay My sharp. father was Legionnaire, and his before him. I guess I never considered doing anything else. That's cool, guys. I'm just gonna let you hang out. I'm not sure what they're doing. I guess they're patrolling. Maybe there's a camp, a legionary camp somewhere. Who knows? Not be it for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and just run away from them and continue down my own way. Is that a wolf? No, that's just a fox. We don't know. I don't really care too much to hunt a fox right now. I mean, it's just a nice snowy fox, and I don't really want to be just like an asshole and kill for no reason. All right, we got a vampire hideout over here. Okay, uh, the nerves are hitting me, because I'm not sure if you guys remember last time, but Tamriel, for some reason, has a deficiency against vampires, and he has a hard time resisting their abilities and their poisons. So, this is going to be difficult, this is going to be quite a dilemma to deal with vampires. We're going to have to be as careful as possible, let Eevee go first, and we'll just go last, because... We, I, I don't know why, but Temple for some reason is extremely weak against uh, being poisoned or being affected by the vampiric curse. I don't really want it to be a vampire. I feel like I just that would just kill the point of survival for me. If he were to become a vampire, then all the food, all the drinks, and all the weather would not affect us anymore. And the wheelbarrow goes down. I love the wheelbarrows that you can just knock over. Just for fun. Alright, we got blood. We got a giant fortress, some lad inside. Definitely a place where vampires will hang out at. So let's go ahead and see what we can grab. Do we have anything steel? We have a steel ja oh. Ooh. What about iron javelin? How much damage? Iron javelin does 11. Steel javelin does 15. I might need to scale steel javelin in order to make sure that they do right amount of damage. Because I have iron javelin scaled to be pretty well. You can see, Iron Javelin does 40. Ooh, we should probably lower that down. That's a lot of damage for an Iron Javelin. The thing is, I want to keep a Javelin's damage high because, I mean, it's a freaking Javelin. It's a giant thing that just, like, flies right at you, and if it gets you, then it gets you. I want to make sure that the damage is appropriate, so... Actually, we're going to make this 30, and we're going to decrease Iron Javelin to uh, 20. Or 21. Let's just go with 21. 22. Whatever, this works. I'm just gonna go with that. And later I'll adjust other weapons as I continue collecting them. Uh, just to make sure that they do appropriate amount of damage. Because, I mean, if I throw an iron javelin and just, like, takes away a tiny bit of health, that's nothing. That, at that point, it's not even javelin. It's like a throwing knife. That's how much throwing knife should be taken away. Like, if, if it's, like, an accurate throwing knife. Or not accurate throwing knife. But with a javelin, it's a freaking javelin. So... It should do the javelin damage, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and quick save again. What have we got over here? Ah, activate a trap. Oh, maybe Eevee did. Eevee, why'd you do that? Did they hear me? They didn't. Oh, well, that's wonderful. That's good news. I'm glad they didn't hear me. That's good. Any vampires in the area? Hello? I'm totally not a vampire hunter, just Tamriel, the Argonian. What's down there? Ooh, vampires. Can't go through that, so we have to continue going. God, this looks so eerie. And I'm feeling hungry. Wow. Vampire caves and hunger do not mix, do they? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, have some munchies. God, Tamriel's even, Tamriel's even nervous. He's more nervous than me about getting vampirism. So what, uh, we're just gonna have him have some munchies. There we go, buddy. Eat up, get your comfy food. Oh, he didn't he didn't even get any kind of like hunger taken care of. There we go. When they say slightly hungry, they mean like hungry. When they say hungry, they mean like oh you're starving. Let's see. I hear wolves. Oh shit, two vampires. Uh damn it. Alright, well my best bet is to take her out first. Hell yeah. Eevee, get him. Eevee, Eevee, get him. Eevee, 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 Eevee! Shit. Oh, damn it, come on, how am I missing? 
There we go! That's how you do it. Eevee, you good? Okay, Eevee's good. Vampire Thrall. What have we got? Steel Javelin. I'll take that back. Uh, did not mean to take your axe. My bad. Let's take back my Steel Javelin. I need to take all, back all my Javelins back. I want to keep them. I'm not even kidding you. Like, the trouble that comes with having Javelin is that I don't want to lose them. I want to have them. Oh, damn it. I got got to drop something off, don't I? I didn't want to give Eevee anything. I just want to, let's see. Steel. What is it? I'll just... Yeah, I'll just store this, and then what else do I, do I have that I don't need? Iron War Axe, I don't care. Javelin, okay, no, this javelin can't be- oh wait, it can't be picked up. Let's see, there we go. What about this one? This one that I dropped, can I pick that up? I know I can like move it around, I sort of was able to, there we go. And it's not letting me pick it up, whatever. Uh. God, shut up, wolves. You make, you're not making this comfortable or good for me. Shut up! <laughs> see, skeleton's got nothing. Uh, we don't want to take the skull. I guess open the shackles for no reason. We got some fire. That's always nice. That's always comfy. And another javelin. I need to be a little bit more accurate when it comes to throwing these things. Alright, so we got two entryways. Let's look at the map. Uh, what can we know? Actually, we don't know anything. We can go back to Skyrim or we can run around here. We'd have to go upstairs. I'm guessing let's stay down here for now. We could... Head over here. What is this place? Open one door. Doors barred. Okay, so that's the exit. That's how we'll exit the dungeon or the uh, the fortress. Let's continue going through here and carefully getting around places without attracting too much attention. And hopefully we'll be doing fine as long as we are careful. Back up, back up, back up. Evie, go for it. Yeah, there we go, Eevee. I need to do something about Eevee's damage. You guys said that Eevee does too much damage. Eevee does too, way too much damage. I don't know why. Actually, you know what, Eevee? Hey, hey, guess where we are, boy? Guess where we are? I'd like you to, uh, see, go back home. No, try this. We're gonna give you, uh, vampire dust. That's what we're gonna do. Here you go. Oh, look at that. Badass as hell. We're gonna kill a lot of vampires. We're gonna collect a lot of vampire dust. And we're gonna use it in our advantage to get buffs for Eevee. And if you guys haven't known, Eevee is just like a... Is that a hand? Yep, that's that's a hand. That's a... Ooh, that's a little Eevee. <laughs> anyway, uh, Eevee... Ooh, tomato, I'll take that. Eevee is like a... Eevee is a meme of Pokemon. That's pretty much what Eevee is. And with... Eevee comes the same power as the Eevee from Pokemon, where they as absorb a specific element and they can do something with it. Ooh, I should probably take charcoal for writing on the uh, journal. I probably might need some more charcoal in the area. Well, not in the area, but in my bags, really. Why did I say in the area? I say something weird to shit when I'm way too focused on the game. Anyway, so right now we got Vampiric Eevee. It looks very menacing and evil. The only thing you can see is the eyes. Everything else is just dark. Uh, the eyes and the teeth and that's it. It's so freaking dark. Nevertheless, uh, Eevee is going to be taking different abilities according to what I give him. If I give him Frost Salt, he'll become a Frost Eevee. If I give him Fire Salt, he'll become a Fire Eevee. And he'll get some simple, well not simple, but elemental attunements. He'll be able to do a lot more than uh, what he would when he is a regular Eevee. All right, Eevee, let's continue keep going. So, where the hell am I? I'm trying to figure out where the hell I am at. Got some vampires over there. Let's head over here. Any vampires there? Mm, I don't see anybody. Oh, shit. Vampires coming this way. Oh, Eevee, move. Eevee, uh, Eevee, uh, you're gonna be the death of me. They're coming. Oh, wait. No, they're good. Probably kill some of them. Probably kill the one on top unless he stops moving. These javelins are, mo are very inaccurate because what you have to do is, like, you have to take the javelin and then you have to launch it so the crosshair just moves slightly off. And if it's slightly off, then they're not gonna get killed. Let's try this. Damn! That? that did it. Let's get her to run over here. Oh shit, she's gonna summon her back. Uh, no you won't. Yeah! And now that necromancer, or that the risen dead is gonna come back. Is Eevee going to battle? Oh no, Eevee's over here. Alright, we got bats flying all over the place. Oh god, they're all alerted. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of vampires. That's a- oh god. Okay, so we got one vampire, we got two vampires. The res- the resin people from the dead. And now they stopped. They stopped panicking. The panic has ceased. Well, that's good. Let's go ahead and aim for that vampire over there. Shit, weapon drop. 
keep forgetting about weapon drops. Oh, shit, let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. Okay, good. Got him. Oh, shit. Wait, you better... You better not come over here. You better... Oh, God, Evie is coming over here. Get him. Get him, quick. Get him, quick. Come on, come on, come on, Evie. Go, get him. Yeah, there we go. Again. Again. Uh, come on. You got him. Did you get him? Oh, shit. He's almost... He's almost dead. Come on. You got him. You got him. Lead him over here. Lead him over here. And I got him. Oh, shit. Missed. Again. Oh, got him. Oh, nice. And the rest are dead. Sweet, sweet. So, you see, Eevee distracted him. Uh, and now he's draining his health. And <laughs> I was able to throw a javelin and get him right in the side. See, javelins are huge freaking things. And what the hell is going on here? Oh, oh shit. Somebody's still draining health. I don't know what the hell is draining health. <laughs> Take the javelin back. Take, uh, what do we got? Javelin. Gold. And I think that's actually pretty good for now. I don't think I missed anything. Maybe I, I threw an extra javelin for no reason. 